Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about developers and what each one of them means and how you can apply to all your coloring needs. So from 10 volume to 40 volume, 40 volume is the strongest and that's what you would bleach to get like platinum blonde hair and stuff. And 10 volume is the lowest and what 10 volume does is it doesn't really lift the hair, all it does is deposit. So. So say you are blonde and you want to darken your hair, so you not necessarily to a brown, but say a shade or two darker than what you have, there's no point in using a 20 volume developer because all that is doing is opening up the hair and brightening it, and since you don't need that, why damage the hair more? So all you need to do is just deposit. So all you need is 10 volume, which is the lowest dose or the you know the least strong of all the developers so all it's doing is opening the hair just very slightly only to invite that color in and then lock it in place and that's what makes color last longer and then 20 volume developer is the, probably the most used in salons is probably it's the most uh, like universal for everything so you can bleach with 20 volume you can also bleach with 10 volume if say your hair is naturally pretty fair but it's pretty rare that that happens. So you can bleach with 20 volume, or you can, for most hair colors, say you know you have a brown and your natural hair color is a brown and you just wanna go one shade lighter, you would use a 20 volume, and that lifts enough of the hair to get you to that next level and then deposits the color that it is you're, you're uh, applying. There is gray hair present, gray hair is very, very resistant. And at first I was like, well then why open it up? You know, you just put 10 volume and it'll cover it all up. And that's not the case because since gray hair is so resistant, you do need to kind of open it up more than any other hair. So 20 volume is perfect for, um, to ensure perfect coverage of the gray and to completely cover it with that brown or whatever color it is that you're using. So. For gray hair, 20 volume is always what you would use. And then there's 30 volume, that's a little bit stronger. That's mostly used with bleach or with a high lift color where you use double developer and one parts uh, color. So it's a little bit stronger, it'll definitely give you about three to four levels of lift, of lightness. And then there's 40 volume, which is what I said, the strongest one and it'll give you uh, depending on which brand and which kind of bleach you are using, it can get you like up to like seven levels of lift, which is a lot in one process. Along with all of that, obviously 40 volume is the most damaging because it's opening the hair the most, it's stripping it of all its natural oils and all of that. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing and hopefully you have a good understanding of what each peroxide volume does. So with knowing that, because I always try to say something kind of safe so that everyone can use and I try not to recommend anything over 20 volume because it gets a little trickier you know if you have dark hair and you're using 30 and 40 volume it can come out really brassy so I, will, I tend to just recommend you know 20 volume or lower just to ensure that you know there are no mistakes but I figured that I'd just make a video and describe which what each one does so that you are understanding why, you know, why use 20 volume developer instead of 40. And I think when you have a better understanding, it's like with anything, if you're just told what to do, you want to know why. So I think this uh, would definitely help. Once understanding developers, it's a lot easier to understand or to even apply color on yourself because the biggest problem with, like, say, boxed color and a lot of people. <laughs> Box color always has such a bad rap for being so terrible in the hair or getting not desired results and that's more because the box doesn't know what you're starting off with so one tube of color, like the actual tube of color even though it might be brown, if I mix it with a completely different developer it might come out blonde on you so I mean it, it, it this is kind of like the dominating factor, the other one is just kind of like what pigments are in there and then this decides if it's going to be this color and a bright bright version of it or like a dark version of it. So hopefully that alleviates some mistakes and stuff like that. So anyway, thanks for watching as always. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you found this helpful. Alright, see you in the next video. Bye.